my people, fellow Nigerians, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know where to start from because since yesterday morning, I have cried my eyes out. I don't know how to prove the innocence of this young man. But I remember yesterday. I remember yesterday. I escorted them myself. Umaka in Ninja Baloka government area. They entered over a bus. They were going back to Aba. And he called me that they were stranded. Where they call Avanikoko. I said, Come back. Don't go. He started looking for my brother because they were too. I don't know that when the army people scared them, they ran. They ran and they separated their ways. I mean, my mother's first son and him came for my uncle's burial on the fourth, on the fourth of this month. <laughs> on the fourth, just on Friday, yeah. My uncle's burial finished and they couldn't go that day. The next day, my dad sat with the three of us who thought they slept in our house. Yesterday morning, I saw them off myself at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I called him to know where they were. He said they were stranded at Owere at Avan. He said, by Avan, but the driver dumped them there. I asked them to come back. Come back. I was thinking he's coming back. Then I decided to say, yeah, come back. When I now called him on phone again, about 15 minutes later, his phone was ringing. He never picked from that 9 a.m. in the morning till about 3.40 p.m. in the evening, his line wasn't going. I become bothered, become worried because I know this is, this is not normal. My, my mom, my dad, everybody were like, maybe his phone ran out of his body. Maybe his, his phone fell off. I said, if he did, he has my number offhand. He has my brother's number offhand. He can call us and tell us where he is. This person is from Uguta local government, where, the, where, where they call Egbe. I have been with him. I know him too well. <laughs> when the call finally, when somebody finally picked this call yesterday, the person told me that he picked the phone along the road. I should come to that side to call out the phone. I entered motor from my place on Lumaka and went to Oweri Oji Junction. The person said he's now at Imsu Junction. I came back and went to Imsu Junction. I met the person. They now used gun and pushed me into a mo into the car and said I should come follow them to the station. And the first thing they said was that, who is your husband among them? Your husband is a thief. We have killed him. I said, Jesus, it's not possible. The person I'm looking for cannot die. And before you know, they started showing me pictures and I saw him among those people that they were killed. <laughs> they killed him. Followed them to the station and I explained everything to them. And yeah, they are still telling me that if I is. They said, Mr. If I is a non government Is this how Nigeria is? My face has swollen. My tears are dried. Nigeria. You people are wicked though. Police, army. This is wickedness. Since you have do, done what you did, you have to release his call for us. His people want his call. He is not an unknown uh, gun man or a man non gun. He came from my uncle's burial. He was going back to Abba when he was shot dead. I will send this picture to you people right now on Facebook. People will see that he's innocent. If I is innocent. And he's a father of two children, a boy and a girl. <laughs> Leaving them without a father. What is our world turning into? What is our world turning into Nigeria? I've been tagging people rest in peace. Now it's my turn. It happened to me. I escorted them yesterday. They entered motor. He dashed me 2,000 naira and I went home to my mom because I traveled home for my uncle's burial. <laughs> Mr. Ifa is dead. I will send the picture. You people will see. This man I'm sending this picture is innocent. He came for my mom, for my daddy's, daddy's elder brother's 
Bera, which is my uncle. He came with us as a family, as a friend, as an in-law. He came with us. He came with us. He's an innocent. People should release him for us. People should release him for us. So his family are worried. His people are worried. His people are worried. This world is wicked. People should not be tagging innocent people on non men. People should not be tagging innocent people. IPO. You people should not be tagging innocent people such thing because God in heaven is watching. By the time his wrath will start coming upon you people. You people will not survive this. I don't get to know who is watching or looking at me. If you want to kill me, come and take my life. I I'm speaking the truth, so oh. you people should release Mr. Ifai's cough. He is not an any or non government. He is innocent. If he is innocent, he came from my uncle's bed. I saw him off and he left. You people can do your investigation. I came to the police myself yesterday. You people refused to give me even his phone. It's not fair. God is watching. <laughs> I said I'm not going to cry in this video. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs>